917, you're live. What's your name and where you calling from? Yo, 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 Tim Black. It's your boy KJ from Bedside, Brooklyn. What's up, KJ? How you doing, man? Long time, brother. How you been? I'm good, man. How you been, man? You right there. It's been a long time. I know, brother. I've been busy, you know. Uh, What's up? Taking care of business here and uh, got the farm going here in Brooklyn, so I've been real busy. Got tomatoes, the corn, everything's coming up. It's looking lovely. That's great, man. Great to hear it, man. What What's up with your boy Trumpy, man? Well, you know, I, oh, I just want to let you know, I too was at that meeting. Um, I was rolling a fat joint in the corner, so... Uh, <laughs> 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 Full disclosure, you know, uh, you know, but uh, listen, man, like the, you know, the last guy said, you know, about the Russia thing, you know, this is the craziest stuff that people like the media just keeps harping on this thing. And I mean, come on, do you know how many governments we've been involved with? Forget about meddling in there elections but we've actually overthrown governments by meddling in their elections I mean, it's a, this is you know our country's been doing this for decades and other countries have done this throughout the history of the world so the fact that they keep trying to make a mountain out of a not it's not even a molehill it's like yeah. a, a molehill's hill off to the side mm -hmm. it's just so absurd that this is it this is all they got and 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 it was so funny because it was dying down and you know they were freaking out so then all of a sudden you know donald jr has a meeting with this woman and right away they try to make it sound like she like is the russian government right. <laughs> she, she's a She's like, she's connected to some really bad, cheesy pop star. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, and, and did you see the publicist guy who set up the meeting? He's this big schlubbitz from like Miami. And, you know, but it's just so ridiculous that, you know, our media wants to act like our government is supposed to be so perfect and squeaky clean and how dare somebody take a meeting with somebody from, you know, give me a break. But like I said, this, this too shall pass. Um, you know, and it, it's summer now. Most people could care less anyway. I mean, the media has got to have something uh, to talk about. Yeah. Clearly they don't care about the fact that Congress is not doing their job. The Senate's not doing their job. You know, health care should be the number one thing that should be talked about, let alone focused on. You know, if, if they were real reporters and they really cared about people, you know, that's the story. That's the, That should be the only story that should be the lead right now is why Congress and why the Senate, why aren't they doing their job? Mm -hmm. and, and, and getting, I don't care which way it goes, but this health care issue has to be taken care of because the Obamacare thing is collapsing. So what are they going to do? Just not get anything done? And then they're going to go on vacation. And then they what? Come back in late September. And then more people are going to lose their coverage because more companies are pulling out of this failing system. I mean, it's ridiculous. But, uh, you know, uh, and, and, and that story about these, this, mental patient in Pennsylvania. Um, this is just another perfect example of why marijuana should be legalized in every state, just to avoid this type of stuff. And, and watch, there'll be people that'll use this story in that way to hopefully uh, legalize. It's ridiculous. We have it legal in some states now. And, and, you know, the latest story is actually, you know, they legalized in Las Vegas and Nevada, and they just had a big story that they're running out of marijuana already. <laughs> 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 and the governor's like, the governor's like, hey, we have a shortage. We have a problem. It's like, really? Is that the problem? Wow, okay, that's no problem to have. I mean, that should be really, you know, that should, that should just become a national thing. Come on, at this point, Give me a break. If people smoke marijuana, like, it's legal anyway. So what's the difference? And this way you're going to avoid 
these crazy freaks that are, you know, whether it's Pennsylvania, whether it's here in Brooklyn, anywhere. I mean, people constantly pull those types of crimes where people are trying to buy drugs, whether mm-hmm. it's an ounce, a pound, a joint. You know, this way you're going to completely avoid that. And then the police actually can focus on real crime and real issues within communities. I mean, let this marijuana thing go. So I hope that eventually that you know, happens. I mean, it's just a sick, terrible story. But, uh, yeah. you know, it'll continue to happen as long as it's illegal, you know. But, uh, you know, just wanted to uh, give you a call. I know yeah. it's been a while, and uh, hope all's well on your end. Looks like you lost a few more pounds, brother. I don't know. Uh, How you doing with that? Yeah, man, just, you know, don't eat much. Busy, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, I'm hoping that I, th- I appreciate you, man, you know. Trying to get like you, you yeah, know. Yeah, man, yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, you know, just, uh, you know, drink a lot of water, stay away from the soda. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look, man, thank you, KJ, for calling it up. Good to hear from you as, as always, bro. You got it, man, you got it. That's my brother right there, man, glad to hear from him, man. Yeah, we got an open format, man. You know, my man KJ, he voted Trump. I'm like, okay, let's talk, man. Gives you perspective. We need perspectives. People are like, I want perspective, but it has to be right here in this perspective. <laughs> Give me perspective in this perspective. Like, no, man, this is a, you know. Don't give him your platform, Tim Black. Oh, so give it to you, though. That's, <laughs> it's funny how that works. He, KJ used the term slimmits. <laughs> I was going to add, I wrote it down as slimmits. <laughs> what the fuck is a slimmits? It doesn't sound good. Sounds like a disheveled, a disheveled human being. Like God just took his body and said, ah, ah, oh, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> I don't know, man. Hold on, 